Hi friends! Today, Miss Kerner and Miss Glickman are going to make even more friends. We wanted to make some friends using our imagination. That means what we think we want to do because sometimes we can't be with our friends and we want to play and share and have fun. So, I'm gonna do something very kind. I hope she thinks so. I'm gonna make Miss Glickman a beautiful puppet to be friends with when we're in school because she misses her dogs. This is how I do it. I took a paper bag. We usually use this when we take our lunch. Today, that's gonna be the body of our puppet. And I used all these different colored papers. You see, there's pieces missing. It doesn't look like this one because I cut it. I used this scissor, but you'll use a kid's scissor just to keep safe because we care about you. I also had some gold paper that I used, but you could use whatever you want. You could use yarn, buttons, anything. Okay, let's get started. First, this is a message to your grown-up. Grown-ups, if you want to cut two things and make them look the same, a tip from a teacher is fold it in half and cut it. Then they're the same size. Okay, so right now, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of a dog. You know, I used to have a dog too. Dogs like to get scratched on their bellies. So I'm gonna make the belly first. This is the body. This is the piece I cut out. I folded it and I made a belly. Here's my school glue. I am putting it all around. It's white on white paper, so it may be hard to see, but I put it all around here and now I'm gonna turn it around so the glue is on this side. You ready to see? <gasps> I think it went this way. Or did it go this way? Nope, I think this way. If I'm wrong and it looks funny, I'm not gonna press it down and that way I could adjust it or change it a little bit later. Okay. What else? I heard something. Oh, what are these? Ears. Do dogs have ears too? I think they do. So guess what I did? I took black paper and I cut ears. They look pretty similar. That means the same. So it's because I took two pieces and cut it. Now I put the glue on. Oh, this one is easier to see. So we're gonna put it with this part here. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be from you because this isn't made to be perfect. It's made to be fun and made with love. Now I'm gonna put it on this ear and I do hope it's on the right side, but again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Look at this. This is going to be the face. That was the bottom of the bag. But now it's the puppy's face. What else does a face have? Hmm. <gasps> eyes. I see eyes. I made them the same color. But guess what? I want it to pop so you see it. And that's why Miss Kerner decided she was going to make first the whites in your eyes. Oh, white glue again, right on the white. 
do two of them together. Turn it over. I think eyes would be around here. Right here. That's where my eyes are. Sort of over there. But how can he see? He doesn't have the color part, the brown or the black, and sometimes even blue or green. So I got my eyes and I'm gonna put glue on it. One side. And by the way, if the glue comes here and you see the white, when it dries, it gets clear and you don't see it. So that's okay. Whoop. It's hard to use your pincer muscles. You go tweak. You put it right in. Boop. And now this one. Boop. Ha! I think he sees me. But he can't smile. You know why? He can't smile because he doesn't have a mouth or a tongue. When dogs are happy, sometimes they lick you. So I made him a tongue. I go here, put it here, under that flap, and press. And now all that's left here is room for a nose that fell on the floor, but I got it. And guess what? The nose is in the middle between my eyes and my mouth. So I'm gonna put it right here. And you know what? This is the dog, but I decided my dog, I, I don't want it to get lost for Miss Glickman. So I'm gonna put on a collar. I made a rectangle, a long strip, and I cut it the same size as the bag. Well, right now it looks like a belt. I don't want it to look like a belt. I want it to look like a leash that you hold. Usually they have a little badge. Here it is. I cut it in gold because usually they're gold, but I've seen them in different colors. I'm gonna have it hang right here. <gasps> I wonder what she'll name him. He's done. I'll let him stay like this and I'll show him to you later when I give it to her. But shh, don't tell her until then. It's a surprise.